feather. Keep it. It's so cute. It's up at this barn. That's so weird. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, freezing cold, it's the last day of winter, I think. We should make a pen out of this. A pen? A pen? It's actually so cold we're not letting the goats out again. The thing for us in winter is that we don't, so when it's really cold like this, we don't wanna be outside, it's not comfortable, it's not fun for us. That's why we have hardly been doing anything outside the last few days because it's just so cold. Oh, I just got attacked by a tree. Okay, so you guys know that we have shelters all over this farm. There's one there, there's one there. There's one in the goat barn, there's one there, and there's one here. And this one actually is so good because we're standing out in the wind. <laughs> well, actually, the wind is way. coming from this oh, way, so it sucks. Here, wait. <laughs> it works great. Hey, it's like a little bar. <laughs> yeah, it's so oftentimes I've literally put the camera up here and filmed myself in this shelter. It only has two sides, which is silly, but it has a really nice roof. So you guys know that we want to get more animals and ever since the duck and the goose died, I've been freaking out about the whole idea of getting more animals, like especially like waterfowl or we want to get guineas. So that's like the next thing that we're about, that we're contemplating getting. And if you don't know, guineas are these adorable little chicken-like creatures that eat ticks. They eat thousands of ticks. Like one guinea can eat so many ticks. And even though we don't really have a huge tick problem here, we do have a lot of wooded area and a lot of wood just laying around. And I am traumatized about ticks because of what happened with Chino. So Sam and I have been talking about what we want to do. We both definitely want guineas. How are we gonna keep them safe? He suggested that we take this little shelter and that he finish it off and fill it in so that nothing can get in there and raise our guineas in here, which I love because it's close to the water. The water is just over there, just by that little hut there. And eventually we could even keep ducks and geese in here. So anyway, he's gonna do that. As soon as it warms up, he's gonna fill this thing in, fill in the bottom, put some kind of, I don't know what, for the bottom, and this is gonna end up being like another coop. The horses don't use that shelter because they can always go between these two fences here and go into either of these fields. Whew, I'm coming, hold on. Whew, it's so cold, like so cold. Is it cold in there? A bird's nest? Actually, it is warmer in here. Pardon? Check, poke around and see if there's eggs. I know, I'm not doing that. Here, use this little feather. I found this. Okay, poke around and see if there's eggs. Sophie likes to hatch eggs. You can't hatch eggs, wild eggs. I tried before, but I smashed it, and I found another one, but I gave it to birds. Look at the view. Isn't that gorgeous? Maybe it's just me, but from here, up on this high hill, it just looks so pretty. And that's our rock field down there for the goats. So, the thing about guineas is that they actually sleep in trees. So we would only need the shelter when they're first starting out, when we want to keep them in. Whew. And the other thing about guineas is that they don't stick around. They're not a species I already know that, that you can really keep because they wander and they don't worry about food. <laughs> they just wander and wander. But that shelter is in the middle of our six foot fences. So there's a really good chance. Yeah, they can get in trees. Yeah, if they can get in trees, they can get over <laughs> You're way too smart for me, Sophie. That's true. But I think we have a better chance of keeping them than if they were on the outside of the fence line. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Whew, but it is freezing. Holy moly, you guys. It's just around please oh no we can't even get in this way you're not as wait, smart I as i thought wait i have feathers. so maybe god made us find that feather so that sophie can unlock the gate <laughs> yeah it works i'll be like shocked it is so cold you guys minus 13 which is like eight degrees fahrenheit i think Ugh. go around <laughs> 
essentially the big thing for me is that I felt really down and really like awful after our duck and goose got taken from us. And then I decided like I don't want to get any more animals like that if we can't keep them safe. And then today when Sam came up with that plan, I'm going to be so happy. Look how Lola is standing. Is that how show goes are supposed to stand? Because she looks cute. She does look cute. Why are you looking so cute? She's a little on the chunky side. <laughs> I'd rather her be fatter. She thinner. likes her food. But her face is like thinning out and she's a short goat. But she's a pulled goat and that's what's really cool about her. We left all the goats in this morning because it's horrible. So we're gonna Dad take you to the scene of the crime. Dad. Dad wants to set up a what? A snap trap. A snap trap? What's a snap trap? The animal goes in. Boom! <laughs> Oh, you told him no? Well, I said we have to lock up my cat first. So anyways, Sam set up, like we haven't been in here. We haven't cleaned it up. This is where my pigs are going to go eventually. It's so cold, you guys, even in this barn. So Sam set up a trap and we came down this morning and the trap was, was like, what's in there? It looks like a cup. Yeah, there's a piece of meat in there. And a cup? It's like... It's a little cup thing that had candies in it before. I don't know why Dad saved it. Anyways, the trap got set off, and look it. Do you guys see that something was digging? So anyways, we still don't know what it is. I think we're going to probably use this trap again. We're just going to have to put a better, better meat in there for it. Also, we noticed this room was a big, huge mess. Like, all these things that were on that shelf were all ripped out. So... Why are you just know all the jumps in my lap? I do not, I do not know what the heck happened there. Today in the comments, someone called him a wild cat and said he ate the duck and the goose. He didn't. I know, he's like afraid he of his own have... shadow. I... Dad's like, oh, he was sitting in his little mouse bed up there. That's all he does. I know, that's why he's so fat. Like he doesn't even have like the skills to kill anything right now. Look at how fat this guy is. He's fat and lazy. He only ever killed mice. Yeah, and he's... He's probably, like, let the mouse go. Yeah, like, he's not a killing kind of wild cat, but it's not impossible. We just don't think that it's what happened. He would have blood on him. I literally am starting to love Lola. Like, she's never been my favorite goat. She always stands with her feet in the feed bucket. <laughs> always. I have no idea why she does it, but that's her thing. Right, Lola. I love her frosted ears, too. And she's so super cute. Let's watch Winston. He only has eyes for Sophie. He doesn't even let her sit down. Doesn't let her sit down. Doesn't let her stand up. He's a lover. He will eat my hair. He is definitely a lover. Anyway, it's lunchtime. We just came down to check on all the babies Watch. because when we have to leave them in. <laughs> Blossom, go away. And if he's hungry while I'm sitting with him, he runs, grabs something to eat, and he jumps back in my lap. I know. Like, he's devastated when she leaves him. Like, that's all he wants to do. And it's so weird because none of our other goats are like that, and I know he was the well, only. kind of like that. Yeah, Blossom is like him. He's teaching Blossom to like He him. takes after his mom for sure. She's like oh, smelling my fingers like, what do you have? I know you've got something good for me. Look at, she's gained so much weight since she gave birth. I know, I love it. I know, I love it too. I'm sure he's... He's excited. He wants to play right now. Yeah, I'm sure but the baby's... As soon as I have to leave, he's going to turn into the biggest kind of love. I know. He like literally is... That's the only reason we're keeping him is because he loves her so much. <laughs> <laughs> the babies in here are having so much fun. So let's talk about what goats I want to keep and what goats we want to get rid of. So you guys know that we don't want to keep all of our unregistered goats. When we got into goats, we didn't realize that we were going to want to keep, we were going to want to go and do shows. So now we need to get registered goats. I'm glad God gave us all boy bucklings, baby bucklings, at least four. because I would want to keep all of them, especially him. He's just so freaking cute. This is cuter. You think so? 
Winston won't always be. Look, he's like, don't put me on camera. So cute. <laughs> I think the little black and white buckling is adorable. They're really big now. So I like white goats. I like lighter colored goats. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to keep her at least for one more breeding and see what she gives us. Because if she gives us a little girl that looks just like that little golden one, I am keeping it. In fact, if she gave us a girl that looked like any of these, I'd want to keep it. Even though I don't want to keep unregistered goats. Jesus, dude. You have a thing with boys, Sophie. <laughs> Who knew? Only goats, though. <laughs> They all, you're a boy magnet. Not with the real guys. So for now, we're keeping little Miss Tilly. She's gonna stay and Blossom's staying because Blossom is just like Winston, a big love of Sophie's. Stop fighting, stop fighting. Stop. So over here, I wanna sell her. I wanna sell her with her babies. I cleaned all the poop out of this cell this morning and there's so much poop now. Which of course is a good thing, but I want to sell her with her babies because she's so shy, so nervous. She's hard to like manage. Worse. No, but so she's. Look at her. She's not that shy. <laughs> she's like, I'll be your friend. Just don't sell me. She's staying here. Anyways, that's my dream, if but Harley Sophie... A, if Harley was a girl, I'd be keeping him. Yeah, if Harley was a girl, if I'd keep him. If you put too close to the wall, he pushes himself away. He's, if he even touches leg, he's like... <laughs> I love Harley. He has the cutest little face. But I don't want any more brown goats. Like, we're having Lola, Mocha. I we're having Blossom. And I, I don't want to keep any more brown goats. I can't have if I named you, you would be no fun. Over here... Little Mr. Rocky, I think we're probably going to rehome him we are. because we don't need any more boys and Winston just beat him out, unfortunately. Plus, Winston lets Lola be a part of the herd. He yeah, and he's like mean to the other goats. I rest, whoops, I rest my case. Like right now, I would prefer it that these girls be together and him not be in here because he just causes problems. And poor Rosie is emotionally distraught. Her mom left her. Her mom doesn't like her anymore. Her mom pushes her around now that she has new babies. And then he pushes her around, but Lola is sweet to her. I'm so glad she doesn't have bangles. And ideally, I don't even like Lola because she's short. Her. She's not like the breed standard. I don't love her color pattern, the chamose. I it's not it. my favorite, but I do, I'm getting to like it. When she's old, but she is a big love of Sophie's and she's horned, but I don't know that I'd ever want to breed her. So basically, I want to get rid of all of, mo almost all of our goats. I just want to keep your goats and get rid of mine. No, I, the only goat that I want to keep, maybe Rosie, maybe Tilly <laughs> and Blossom. Those are the only three that I want to keep. She's like, you want to keep me? <laughs> I just don't like the dangles. Yeah, I don't like the dangles either. So anyway, I said all that just to say, I don't know what we're doing with the goat still. It's just gonna take time. I'm glad we didn't get girls <laughs> or else we'd be keeping them. There's no way, there's no way we can keep, we can get rid of like, hi, <laughs> goats that we love. And my idea is that if Tilly gives me a girl the next time, a really Wait, cute girl awesome. like the She's gold, so like the gold one, her baby's more chill than her. Then I'm gonna keep the baby and then probably sell She's Tilly. She's her baby. So ultimately that's my goal and the same with Rosie. I think Rosie's gonna give me really cute babies because she oh, come here, show this. is light colored. Show how chill he is to, to how crazy she is. Yeah, she's a crazy goat. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, I'm freezing. Are parking lot in, uh, in Walmart today. Your parking spot? Yeah. Dad was waiting for this lady to move, and then her husband just like zoomed on in, and she moved. She moved out of the way, and he parked there. Wow! And Dad was waiting. Yeah, and then he had road rage the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him about it. He'll tell you everything. All right, let's go ask him about it. We're gonna go do the chicken chores, and then we're gonna ask him about it. But comment below after seeing those holes in that stall. What do you think it was that killed her duck and her goose? I heard there's a story about you having road rage. Road rage, oh, okay. So I was turning into the parking lot and I'm waiting for this woman to move out of the way. 
as she was going, this car zooms. Around you? Around, uh, no, I saw him coming. He was zooming. I'm like, okay, so I won't go because I think he wants to get out. But no, he zooms right into the parking spot. For what? I was like, I rolled down the window and I said, oh, thank you. He said, no problem. <laughs> and then, like, after like an hour, Sophie's like, maybe she was holding the spot for him. So then did your road rage go away? No, because it's like, I should have, what I should have done is crash the car into there so he wouldn't have a chance to get in there. That was terrible. So what I did was I got some nails, I put them on their tire. You're lying. Okay, Sam that. would never do that, you guys. <laughs> Don't even joke. Karma will get them anyways. Hi guys, I'm out in the barn and uh, I think the snow is coming down now. I guess the snowstorm is a couple days late, but apparently we're gonna get a lot of snow tonight. Starting now till all night supposed to snow. And I'm trying to fix this on my truck. See the wire? It's falling off. It's gonna snap. And every time I put a big round bale and roll it on the back of this truck, it's too heavy for it. I'm paranoid it's gonna fall off. But anyways, they sent me this replacement strap. This is the second one because the other one was too short. I guess I didn't measure it. And they put this little thing in a big box like that. <laughs> they came today. It looks like it's the right size, so I'm going to try and change that today, if I can. And I uh, have to go reset the trap. Apparently something was there last, last night again, so I'm going to reset it. And put a smaller trap there, because the smaller trap will get the smaller things. I think the trap was moved, that's why it got set off. So, probably was a raccoon, I don't know, but we're going we're gonna to catch that thing. And just like that. The new ones are on. That was quick. Pretty simple, just unscrew the bolts, put those on. Don't you know that you're beautiful?